All right, I'm building a PC for my brother. As soon as he gets up here, we're gonna get this going. He's been playing on an Xbox and it's time for an upgrade. Pretty much only plays Fortnite. Uh, he doesn't need the best setup, but it's, I mean, Fortnite's pretty taxing. This is gonna be a really good setup though. It's a uh, probably medium tier as far as price, but it's gonna compete with pretty much anything out there. Uh, we got the 790 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR4. I went with DDR4 because it's cheaper and there's not really a big difference between DDR4 and DDR5. And DDR4 is actually a little bit better for gaming right now. They're still working out the kinks on DDR5. I would not recommend investing your money into that yet. Maybe in another year or two. But the cast latency on the DDR4 is about half as much as the best CDR5. Went with Intel i7 12th gen uh, CPU. I go with Intel because you know it's going to work. You can trust them. AMD, a lot cheaper. But I don't know. I just something about about them. I just don't don't trust. Anyway, got the 4070 overclocked edition. This is MSI as well. Going all MSI. I went with the 4070 instead of 4070 Ti or 4080 because of the connector. They went to the old style connector for the power supply or the power supply connector on it. And the reason they did is because those things have been melting and I would not recommend get something that's melting, especially for a thousand dollars. You're gonna spend a thousand dollars minimum for a 4080, okay? And if it's going to catch fire, if you want to burn money, that's fine. I don't feel like taking that chance and I wouldn't have my brother take that chance either. Went with the DDR4 16, two 16 gig strips. This is G skill. I trust them. I use them a lot. They're a good company. I think Corsair is decent. Um, they have Kingston brands. And, but I trust G-Skill. G they make a lot of stuff. A lot of good RAM. And if you get RGB, it's about 10 times better. Just kidding. But uh, this is a Mag Core Liquid 240 Rad MSI. This is a really nice all-in-one cooler for your CPU. I would recommend getting that no matter what you buy because it's $100.00. It's gonna do exactly what you need it to do. And it looks cool. It's got a dragon on it. It's name brand, you can trust it. Great value for your money. Get You can get a Noctua, but you're gonna lose a little bit of cooling capacity, just a little bit, like one or two degrees. And it doesn't look cool. There's no RGB. This cuts RGB and a dragon on it. Also went with a Samsung 90 Pro. NVMe, he only got one terabyte, probably all he needs because he only plays one game. If you play more than one game, you probably want to get at least two terabytes, but that's really fast um, drive right here. This is super fast. This is the fastest right now. There might be faster ones when you're watching this. I don't know. That's really good. It's like 7,000 mega trans or megabytes a second. I don't know. We got the Corsair 850 watt. 850 is as low as you should go. If you go higher, that's fine. You can go as high as you want in watts. But you don't want to go lower because if you go lower, you're going to see it possibly crashing when you're playing a game and your GPU starts sucking power. It's going to shut down the power supply. And you're like, why is my computer crashing? It's probably because you don't have enough power or maybe you don't have enough RAM, possibly. If you go with one gig, I mean, one eight gig strip or 16 total you might see a game crash because of that because as soon as you run out of ram fills up your computer can't do anything you have to restart it every time you restart your computer it clears out your ram starts you fresh so the more you have the longer you can go before it needs to clear out we also got the msi forge 100 this is really cheap case it was like 80 bucks but i think we bought the last one they have another one out as a different design 
still looks good still cheap i would recommend that one as well it came with three fans in it i only had to buy one fan didn't really need to buy that but there's a spot to fill and i want to fill a spot i like to fill them holes anyway got the mx4 thermal paste this is just thermal paste i had laying around arctic brand and as soon as he gets up here we're gonna get started all right he's here more of those. Yeah, I got one more of these. Look uh, in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. Right. Thank you. Drunk building a PC. <laughs> All right. Everything's in. Finally. All right. I'm going to have to move this up out of the way a little bit. Crank this. All right. We'll start with your case first and get that going. I already went through all the product like 20 times. So, so you know what's in you know. They know. They know what's in there. <laughs> you know who they are. Open her up. It's the case. It's the case. It's actually terrible. But it's terrible. Sweet. Like that. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. All right. Boom. Very clean. Very nice. Already came with three fans and I went ahead and added a third one right in the middle because I like to fill holes. There's a hole to fill. We filled it. Oh, you already added it? Yeah, I already added that. Pre-show. Pre nice. So we need to take these off. Don't over tighten these because this glass will break. It's so cracking. That's the one downfall about this case. I don't like the, the don't side like panel. The oh, I don't like the side panel. Like mine, it has one, one Disconnect. I spin one thing off and the whole thing comes. And then it does it's not on the glass either, so it's not gonna break anything. Alright, you don't want to lose these. Set this over on the on the bed. Oh yeah, they're smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's some smooth beer. I'll tell you what. You don't really need this. Alright, we got to take the glass off. We gotta take the back panel off too. So we can get to all the, the goodies back here. Screw me. Where's my LTT screwdriver? LTD store.com. Not that it has a bunch of attacks. Not that they're uh, they're they're not sponsoring me, but this is a really good screwdriver. Tell you what, they all come out of the bottom. Oh yeah, they do. They come out the bottom. This one? No, no, not that one. Do that. All right, side panel off. All right, there's a bunch of wires in there. You know what these do? Um, we need to connect them. We need to connect them. And the motherboards, all that. This is all your front I.O. or top I.O. right here. So, you got, that's your USB, one of the USB connectors. This is the power on and off right there. And then you got your USB 3 connector, I guess. Why is there a USB 2? Maybe. Oh, no, no. This is your headphone and mic right here. And this is your, these are USB 3 ports. And this is all the RG, this is a fan splitter right here. Let me see. Fan splitter, I think, uh, oh yeah, it's RGB. So this is the RGB connector they put on here. 
It's a little different. I haven't seen one like that before. But it already comes in there with all the the RGB connectors. That's nice. So you just have to connect. Looks like you just have to connect one to your motherboard, and then connect everything to this little smaller board on the back. That's for power. Okay, so it, one of these powers it. I know that's her fans. They're kind of tangled. Yeah, they tangle us all up. Careful not to yank too hard. Yeah. Where's this going? Okay, yeah. That's power for all the RGB, I guess, and the fans. So all the fans get connected there. I don't know how I like that. You, you really don't need that. Where is this going? That's LED for the switch, I guess. We'll use it. We put it in there. All right. First things first, though, we get this motherboard ready. So before we even put it in there. We gotta flash the BIOS. What does that mean? It means that it has a, um, basically a program that runs the, the motherboard that tells it what to do, how to handle everything. We gotta delete that? Well, we gotta update it. Like it comes with one, but you don't know how long this has been sitting in the store. It's just a good idea to, to update it when you're installing it new. Sure antennas. You've got some SATA connectors. If you get some SSDs, you want to connect to that. What is this? It's like, what the fuck is that? I don't know. It has a little MSI thing on there. Can I open that? I don't know what that is. You got some little latch. It has a barcode on it. Yeah, it's got a barcode on it. European Union regular installation guide. I'll probably tell us in the installation guide what those things are. I've never seen that. Use your teeth. What we got here. It says nothing about the packages that they threw in there. European Union. I don't know what the heck these are. This looks like, oh, this is an extra stand. This is an extra stand in here. So if you lost one of your, the stands that hold the, Motherboard up. Not the motherboard, but the yeah. these uh heat right. sinks. The heat sinks. There, yeah, it's one of the stands. So this, that's what that is. That is a USB. It's show sure enough. That's the USB. Probably has a ten six. BIOS on it, maybe. So anyway. Oh, like the update thing? Yeah, it might have the BIOS update on here, but I went ahead and pre-downloaded the actual newest one. They probably gave you this so you could actually do it yourself. If you didn't have a USB, you could put this in your computer. That's nice. That's pretty. Put the programming on there. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's really cool. But I already have it. I'm going to... Got it right here. Need to take out the power supply. Now you can update the BIOS uh, while it's all connected and on, but 
uh, this is a better way to do it when you're building it. It's just, at least for MSI. Other ones, they have different procedures for updating the BIOS, but this is how MSI does it. ton of wires just in case you want to build three PCs in one. <laughs> I'll consider it. Yeah. I do like that they all have um, what's it called? This casing on it. Nice, nice little wire covers they put on here. Usually they're, la uh, yeah, they're labeled. Type four, what we got here? Okay, motherboard. So we don't need to connect everything, we just need to connect 24 pin and one of the eight pins. CPU, all the wires were labeled. looking at the uh, Enzo mm -hmm. instead of actually looking for a label. No, there's a label on right here. I know. You were looking for a wall. I was wondering. Well, the, the GPU one looks exactly the same as the CPU one, but they're wired different. So... You were looking for the difference? Oh, the, yeah, there is a... It, you can't... It's hard to tell just by looking at them. PCIe, SATA, PCIe. Let me look at that one. Why does it say? PCIe slash CPU, but I know the CPU is different. Good idea to look at these shapes too. They're saying you can put it into any freaking one. I don't know if I trust that. <laughs> I don't like that. It says PCI slash CPU, but I know that the wiring is different. For both? Yeah. Maybe they've intertwined them somehow. Oh, you know. Okay. I see what they did. So this end, they they wired it correctly. They wired it. They moved the wires where they needed to. But over here, they made the connector the same for the PCIe and for the CPU. Just in case, yeah, something. Like yeah, that. so you didn't mess it up. Because they're basically the same wires. They just move where they go. But yeah, some of them you got to make sure it goes in the right spot there. On here, it's they, it will go in the wrong slot. So if you put the GPU in the CPU slot, you're gonna have an issue. It'll probably be fine, but it ain't gonna work. Run. Yeah. All right. Now we don't need to turn it on or anything. It's already flipped 
mic on. You get the with the Program. BIOS. There's a slot here. It says flash BIOS right here. It's a got a label right there. Let's see. Put it in here. That's only for updating this. Yeah. And then you're in, you got clear CMOS button, and that's gonna clear the BIOS, but you don't need to do that. You're just gonna hit flash BIOS. Hit it once if there's power on. That'll probably basically reset it for our new programming to go into it. Yeah. There you go. You just have it once, and it's gonna flash for a while. When it's done flashing, then it's good to go. Let me start putting it together. Yep, we can start putting it together. That thing looks like a beast. Oh, it's, it is a beast. It's big. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's not blinking anymore. We're gonna turn it off. Go. So that's very much like the power box when, like, you know, to like an Xbox, how they. Yeah, yeah. It's Ugh. just basically bigger, more powerful. Mo power. That's why you have to pay us to do it. <laughs> it's like, yo, oh, we want to be running a lot more energy through this thing. Might be something you have to press. I am pressing it. it is, you have to, I don't want to pull too hard because you can pull this shit out of here. No pressure, bro. No pressure. <sighs> Even a little bit of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got it out. That pen is fine. It just comes out sometimes. They're, those are good. Let's make sure that they're pushed back in. Yeah, I don't think it's all it, like totally disconnected. You can pull these out and put them back in, but rather, rather not. Fuck with that. It's hot. Turn on that. No that, pressure, bro. Turn on that AC for a little bit. I know it's gonna make a lot of noise. Where is it? Right there. Power. Oh. Where's the... Um, I got it. Okay. Alright, we're gonna install the SSD in here. because it's supposed to have a mess of D in there. All right, so this just goes in like this. Okay. 
Oh, so this one has like a little lock on it. You want to see this? So mine has a screw that screws in there. This has this little lock thing that locks and holds it down. It's like that. That little black tab? Yeah, this spins. Uh, it's like a washer basically. You go ahead and pop this uh, CPU in here. It's only one way to put the CPU in there, but you can put it in the wrong way. Is that one the right way? Yeah, it's very, but it's pretty simple. It has a little arrow on it. This way is the arrow. Let me see. Let me see if I guess right. I say it goes like this. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like that, all right? No, 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 way wrong. Did you touch this? No. Okay. I was just holding, Don't. I was holding the edges. Okay, um, okay, yeah, it's got an arrow there. Should be an arrow on, on here. Usually there's an arrow. I feel like this would be the bottom and this would be the top. It does have notches too, so it can... Yeah, there we go. Alright, upside down. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, okay. Cool, you don't need the arrows. The notches will guide you in. That's it. It sits on there. Close right, nice. Alright, are you sure it closes? Yeah. It's not putting too much pressure against it, is it? Yeah. It's got to. Little rat trap. Yep, yeah, it's a little rat trap. Boom. It's in. Intriguing. That's how they do all that out of. Oh, there's a the arrow. It's on this. All of this super nice, like. And I go to like a basic, just like rat trap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For the CPU. That's how we're gonna keep it down. It's a good leverage though. It shouldn't pop up. Unless <laughs> that shit rust out. Come on, come on. I can put my finger right here so it's Just hold, hold this. Oh. You can throw it on the outside. I don't know if it's gonna go through there. I want to. I don't want it through there. I need to have that open. Oh, uh, no, I got it. That's gonna catch. Here's the floor. Here, here's Lego. Lego. It's like you have to be in there. Just gonna shove it in this fan. There you go. Shit. One go for it. Nah, I'm thinking about taking the fan out. So it's on the way. Need your screw. This came at the top. What did that one go? Oh, oh. Yeah. that's good. the worst spot ever. Did you get it? No, it's like right where your finger can't get it. <laughs> your finger just pushes it further back. Uh, 
I would say start with the bottom one first because that those ones look more level. Like they don't look like they're uh I don't matter I guess. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Like you see how this one looks like it's filled up. Huh? Yeah, that's why I'm, well, before I tighten it, I'm gonna push it in. It's a, it's got a, it just kind of pushes up against here. I don't hold it. On the bottom one. Nice. Yeah, perfect. That should go in, no problem. I don't know about that one. Maybe. Maybe we have one in it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's a different thread too. Yeah, it's different. Oh, wow. It's like barely different. I don't know. It's Is this not a, no. it's not a super ball? Nope. Or that one, that's at least. Can you need glasses, bro? That's, that's the wrong one. Is that the wrong one again? No, that should be good. Are you sure I have to put that on there? But yes. Supposed to wear glasses, <laughs> but I'm not really. I'm I am kind of looking, but those do look skinnier than the one that you put down, so I'm pretty sure my vision is not that bad. It's not perfect either, though. That's the uh, first step. Okay, now we gotta do we do the power connectors and uh, that's all in there, right? Oh, that's no, not there. not those yet. We can run the the other cables first. The fans and shit. Yeah, we'll put that back.
the screws go that handy for it. Checking the windows. Are you done? I think so. Safety things for mm -hmm. yeah. For save brand. those. You might I would throw them in the case somewhere. Yeah. Keep, done. I'll keep all that in here actually. Um, nice uh, maybe throw it in your. This is more. Well, isn't this the big box? The biggest one. The deep. Yeah, that's not. That didn't come out of there. It didn't, no. Yeah, they didn't put a whole lot in their their manual. Uh -oh. um, usually, there's a lot more detail, on like what each of these connectors do and their labels and stuff. But it that just one tells you how to put it together. It's just basic stuff they put in there. All right, so we need to start putting in all these cables into the board. Yeah. Do the yeah, do the, the deal. That. It's it's already going. Just hold it like that. Yeah. Just hold it sideways like that. Wherever you're going. Okay. So we're gonna get the power going first. Where's the... That's audio. There we go. Here's a power. Yeah, but then you go to certain spots. Like... Also, you don't want too tangled up. And 
go. fan headers. We have a few of them. We have six of them all together. Oh, you plug in one more? Uh, no, we're going to have to plug in a few of them. They don't daisy chain together. RGB right there, I think. Yeah. So you can, the RGB daisy chains together, so you just need to connect one of them, uh, at least for the, the front fans. System fan. No, this is not HDMI. This is your USB connector. Uh oh, that's what I meant. <laughs> that's what I meant. I meant one of the ports. <laughs> All this jazz. This one I'm gonna have to look at what they got in the manual there. That's the fan header I'm plugging in. This one? Sorry. Yeah, you're going to find the. Yeah, that's it. Uh, sideways like that. Alright, um, thing we're looking for, I prefer more on here, but it's just this right here. That's all your front IO. You got your H. DD, LED, power LED, reset switch, power switch. Just gotta make sure they're going the right spot. And they're all labeled, so that's pretty, pretty simple. That one. One side versus plus. This is, this is nice, they kind of, well, backwards compared to what they had here. So it's actually going to go the other way.
get them lined up just right, put them all in at once. Uh, if it, if it'll go off. I don't know if doesn't sometimes. Yeah, how do you do that? No, I'm trying to break the case. No, so it's out. turned off. Did you hit a button on there? I don't think so. Maybe your yeah. volume button. You got the power button. Wow. It's positive. The right here if you push this down, if you push on that, it's gonna turn it off. Okay. So let's keep it off of that. Have tiny hands doing this. Come on. I'm all lined up and then I don't seem lined up. I don't know why this one taped this all together. They probably taped this. That's what I was thinking. As soon as you said that they'll, when you press them all together, you could go in there all at once. I was like, why would they do that then? <laughs> Well, I, well, like uh, this motherboard had it laid out a little different than what these were. Oh, uh, so they didn't do it. So just in yeah, case. you can change. I'm not trying to make it. I'm not trying to limit you. Click nothing that time. <laughs> I don't know. What? Did they say the other part? Yeah, it showed up. Yeah, okay. That's weird. Thin. 
Are you sure it's not over too far? I see an open prong. Yeah, those are, that's a reserve. It's not oh, supposed okay. to be. Well, it looks pretty leveled. Other than that, looks like it's smashed down all the way. Yeah. And don't particularly like using tape there, but you're not going to really see that. Yeah. It's more convenient anyways. LED they have for it. I don't know. I don't think it matters which way it goes. There's not a positive and negative on it. Over here. Hold on. Okay. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Hitting your hat. <laughs> Starting to look like a computer. Starting to. <laughs> Alright. Is there any more cords that we're missing? Not for that particular spot. Uh, that was the main, like all the, the fans are connected. That's just a, a little header so you can add more RGB to it. We can tuck that all when uh, we get the rest of the wires run. Got little zip ties for that stuff. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's that. Next, we need to run extras to it. That is for quieter fans. If you, uh, but it also slows down the the speed of them, so you're not going to get as much performance out of it. We yeah, can so step that. Just turn. We can step that way. Sorry. For the, for that. Oh, that on the too. Yeah. Very good. All right, we're gonna put the power supply in. I went ahead and connected all the connectors that we need, and uh, I'm gonna have 
to where the fan is facing down. And the reason is that's sucking air in from the bottom and you want to have a nice airflow. So like hot air rises. So you want to have your hot air coming out the top and out the back pretty much. You want the cold air coming in the front and the bottom. So that it just, you just have a nice out motion. And so this is gonna be pulling the cold air from the bottom. You have a little screen under here that you can clean off and uh, it'll suck it in, pull it out the back. Oh, I'm betting it. I probably just wanna put it like on a hard surface and not against the wall. Uh, well, you have enough gap back here. Well, just so the block, the hot air is just not blowing it yeah. against something and pretty much back onto the... Optimally. This is a tight, tight fit. I might have to... That's gonna screw this. No, that's not gonna come out. Those are rivets. Um, it's these wires. We probably should have waited around these wires till this was in. These are all, you have a bunch of spots down here for extra drives. So if you had like a bigger hard drives, you could slide them in here, but you're not gonna put anything in there. So we can like store extra crap in that slot, but it doesn't leave a whole lot of room for these, these wires here. bottom like this little ridge off right here no trying to hold this in oh. yeah man it's gonna suck let me pull these wires back out so you can get It's just the right thing to do. After that. There we go. What about this one over here, this far? No, no, leave that, leave that. Huh. I wonder if I can move that one. It's like heavy. PCIe, PETA, SATA. So you have the different shapes. If you match them shapes up, you know you're gonna go in the right spot. Steady hand. My left, my left hand is not why. 
It's really my dominant hand either. It's just like call it going like that. <laughs> you gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean and earning a keep. Oh yeah. <laughs> you gotta be regulator. <laughs> Have you heard that song? Yeah. Well, I don't actually. I don't know, maybe there's a different song that's actually more popular, but is it a Christian song or something? A rap song that's like this is about regulators. Regulators! Oh. Oh, no, I know what it is. That's a. Uh, it's like some classic rap music. Yeah. Show enough. As soon as you said it like that, I remember. All this is going through. In dead court, 17, 12, 7, 8, 1, 7, 7. Try and get him back there. Yeah. I'll grab him. Oh, there you go. I'm just trying to play like that actually. Oh, you're good. You put it over there. Another. Here are all the stuff, set. <laughs> all right. bring it over this way. This one you will probably never use, but it's there. That's your mic and headphone jack, but most of the time you have like a USB connector for that kind of stuff. All right, now we can run these things. That's for connecting uh, those hard drives, this, this little bay down here for putting those kind of hard drives. You don't have any of those, so we're not going to do that. All right. CPU. Running it through the top. What's this one? CPU. 
Thank you as well. Me. Well, those prongs not all in the right order. No, they're fine. It's just uh, I'm hitting the the heat sink. No, it's there. Put it in B. That's all in. I mean, it could have been bad for your glass there. Let's go ahead. Where's the glass? There? Right there in that box. Oh, let's see. start putting in this. I uh, just pause the recording for a second. Guessing that for the close ups, really. Um, get this. Turn off the light. I turned it off. Yeah, turn, turn it off. There we go. Let's get 
this all untangled up. Yeah, that's the last thing we'll be doing. Is this what's still taking? Or did you already do it? Huh? I was wondering if you oh, tired. I already got it. Yeah. Figured it out when I started grabbing it. <laughs> Dying every time I come in here. What, your uh, vape died? Yeah, stupid. I, I guess I left the charge on. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah, I had the air conditioner going on all day. It's already hot in here. Two people. <laughs> Small room. Are you able to pull that that string there? My room is usually about this one or warm, so this is nothing to me. First off, we want to put the go ahead and install the fans on here. And there's a direction that they flow. You can see an arrow on it. Usually, this one does not have a directional flow arrow. Should, but it's a um, that way. I think. Yeah. So no, nope. actually, wait. No, it's going to go that way. Double check. Yeah. That way. That's a flow. So that side sucks. That side blows. <laughs> and then so I'm gonna have it position like that. And these ones are for the cool air to get in. This is to blow the hot air out. Oh, that's cool. It's to blow the hot air out and cool. The, this, uh, the, the, the liquid and the CPU, to uh, cool the CPU. It is to cool the CPU. Yes. But yeah, this is going to be the front, the back. So these wires need to be going to the back. And then I can run them. Like that? Yeah. The, uh, the screws in the box. Oh, I got them right here. Yeah, that can go on the. We don't need any of that. No, yeah. A little screwdriver. Go. Did you want the wire through here? No. Okay, I was gonna make sure you didn't do that with this.
Bitch, that's me. And these are going to screw the radiator to the top up here. Flip it upside down or something. Uh, go ahead and uh, get the camera again, and we'll get this close in. Yeah. Why they have it on this side? It's clearly how it's supposed to mount. There's a bit of slot over here to put it through. Got options. Got options. RGB. This is for the pump. So we can go ahead and actually plug that in. And pump. Oh no no no, the pump is on. No, that's, that has to be the pump. Let's see, or in the that's just RGB coming off there. So yeah, that is pump. We have to pump in that. But it's only a three prong, and they got four there, which means it's not controllable. I thought this was controllable. Just be a different wire that. Like, no, this attach. is it. And it's uh. Being extra cautious. Alright, it's in. It is awkward. Awkward one. So we got fan, RGB, RGB can go. Everything they got backwards of how it should be routed. Let's 
seem very secure. Uh, right. Hopefully there's them for your own birds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, just the way they routed the wires just seems backwards. Um, Not conventional. Unconventional. What do we got here? That's more RGB. Actually, that can be daisy chain the other one. And then we got two fan headers. We got system fan. And we got that one. CPU fan, system fan. Those should be going to the same. I'm surprised they don't have two fan headers. They did have this splitter. Where did that that splitter go? The one that uh, you held up, you're like, hey, do we need this? Mm -hmm. It's right there behind you. So we can use this, but it's gonna slow down the speed, I think. But this is a better option for connecting it. This one might not, it might have been another adapter they had that did that. But we're gonna use this because you want the the computer to be able to know where the fans for different components are. Let me just plug this two in to uh, the fan headers. Yeah, hold that there. Over here. The, And all these wires through making sure they're straight and not, mm -hmm. I'm not pulling the wrong thing, I'm like ripping them out of their sockets here.
I let go. It's like, why can't I move? Oh. Oh, dang. That's gonna. That design there. So I'm gonna move up this way. You're under. Oh crap, that's the wrong one. He needs to go out this way. That's for a different size. I got you. It needs to be slid over. What's this? No, 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 no. This, this. Yes, yeah, thank you. Alright, we're gonna try and bring it centered. No much, not too much pressure. Cool, cool. I brought the other one in here. Not really, you know.
All right. That is done. It's over here. I think the rest of the stuff is going to be on this side. So we can go ahead and get these wires tied up. Let me pause it. Zip ties. I got right here. Yo, Chris, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick, alright? Yeah, you're good. Did you hit your knee on that shit again? Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs>
spoon and push it down? No, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to... Could be a little better, but that'll be good. Uh, where's that back plate? The black thing right there? Just leave this hand tight. That's fine. All right. That was the hard part. Or else we have the plug in. Oh no, nothing else really, right? Not, not as far as uh, what we gotta plug this in. Uh, that's just our RGB, and yeah. then this is this we gotta apply the thermal paste. Attach this to here. Let's see, make, sure I, make sure I put this in the right way. Inside graphics card. this peel tape off before we do that on. get the thermal paste on there a little too you want to get the hammer going again Oh, okay. Uh, it's still actually a pretty good light right here. Alright, we ain't got much more to go. And put, I like to put a few dots and then spread it out. The, the whole purpose of this just is to prevent uh, air gaps between the cooler and the CPU because there's going to be imperfections in the metal and this kind of fixes that. 
You want it pretty even. Some people just glob it on here and push it on, and it's fine to do that, but uh, perfectionist. Sure, it's evenly applied. But you don't want too much on here because it's not really it doesn't help with cooling. It just helps fill the gaps in. So it's not really a doesn't really have much for cooling properties. If you got too much on there. You're gonna have too big of a gap between the the surface and the, the cooler. Oh, man. Okay. Need a big towel. Mm -hmm. Something. Go. Yeah. One right behind you. This was metallic paste, you have to be more careful. So it would fry stuff. You got anywhere else? It would what? It would fry some things if it was metallic paste. If you got it on like the any of the motherboard or anything. Some of them are like have silver in them. And it's in electricity to parts it's not supposed to. Yeah. You want to you need to put this on them on this first or no? No. There it is. What's this for? That's for a different size um, motherboard. This could work on different yeah. applications. So you can spin this? Oh, that's cool. I know that. That one in here, get that all in there. Oops. Oh, don't touch it, please. Can spin it? Don't. Oh, we can spin it after it's on there. Is it still recording? Mm-hmm. Like that. Gotcha.
Not too shabby. So we got that baby in. Mm -hmm. It is in. Yes, sir. Oh, it looks right. sexy too. Yeah. You're on this. No, I'm gonna put this RGB connector on. Good thing we left this uh, open. Xbox screen on. Roger, it's a message on Xbox. Oh. All right, let's put in the some kind of the RAM next. That's that, right? Yeah. You wanna? What are you? Oh yeah, the phone. That ram in. Oh, there's a particular way you can't just throw it in any slot. You gotta. Ooh, that's pretty. Closest one. I think it's the closest one. Let me uh, look at the construction. I, I can never remember. Uh, I think this is the uh, motherboard. What's the other side in here? Yeah. yeah. But, English. I need that American. I need an American. I guess it is. So they don't really show that. Their installation guide sucks. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think they wanted you to uh, do the QR code so they save paper. <laughs> yeah, DIM A1, A2, yeah, there we go. That's the label right here. We're gonna put in A1 and B1. You have to skip. Alpha and beta. Uh, it can only go this way. My side's not going in. I think you have a crooked. On. Some of these. Yeah, okay. Some of them, they only have the clip on one side, so I wasn't sure. Press it down evenly. They hear it snap. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's even. Yep. Boom, bada boom. So we got the RAM in there. Got the RAM in there. Got. You got the drive, you Let's got the cooler. I think all that's left is the GPU. Mm -hmm. Coming along. It's just coming together. Uh, yeah. I'm kind of excited to mess with it. It's going to give me something to do tonight. All right. 
take this side. It's personalized in here and everything. Yeah, you're gonna have some fun. You have to watch yeah, videos I'm watching, and stuff. Yeah, I'm watching YouTube videos. I see how the full screen is set up my home screen in the most uh, optimal way. Also got. What's that for? Oh my god, I did that. Well, you gotta actually break that shit off? Yeah. That's stupid. Well, it's actually pretty cool because they have these vented, so if you don't need them, they they work as like inlets. What's in but the mean? problem with this is... I guess that's fine. Also need. Where did I put it? Your GPU support. Uh, I have here it is. no idea. It's a Ow. good, good idea to support your GPU. Just a bit. You don't want it to work. Well, yeah. Well, it's it could pull on this uh, PCIe slot. And break it or break this or yeah, if it. this bows at all, it can actually separate between separate the chip from the board. And then you're gonna be paying for repairs or a brand new um, GPU. Yeah, gravity will do its work. This is a cheap one, but I use it, it works pretty good. from scratching well from, well actually I think we do because I think it might hit those fans but yeah um They're different sizes. It's a different thickness. There's one piece of it. Sorry. There was there was another screw on your. Yeah, I, know, I took off. Okay, I was make sure you fall in there. Let me 
Mm-hmm. Is this hand you left it on? I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Sticky thing. I like that. I don't think it's gonna touch anything there. Actually, I can test it right here. No, the fan's not hitting. Squeeze something. <laughs> no. You want me to squeeze or something? I was, I was thinking that. <laughs> yeah. Pull that shit back a little bit. Scratch it if I fucking have it like in a. But if you ever move this, yeah, that's what I mean. Like the G- pull the whole GPU out, put it back in the box before you ship it, or before you try to move it. Like if you're moved to another back to Texas or whatever. Just unplug that bitch. Yeah, just you hit the little switch here to uh, disconnect it from the PCB or from the from the motherboard. From the motherboard there. Okay, a little switch right there and the screws. Yeah. That's actually that's actually a simple design right like there. Just plugging it in. It should help a little bit, keep it from flexing. All right, we are good there. Now I just gotta plug in the GPU. Yeah, extra. It's some of these have two connectors on them, oh. or three. Uh, if you want to add it on the GPU, but can you even do that? Add a second GPU. Uh, I don't think you can anymore. You used to be able to do that, but it's not necessary. So I think they took out that ability. But yeah, you daisy chain them together, sort of. 
now they're powerful enough that to the point you really wouldn't even see the difference in it. You know, well, it's just uh, it's not very efficient. This is actually it would actually uh, you'd lose performance doing that. That's enough. That's enough. Too much, too, just too much uh, area for it to travel home. Yeah, basically. Shorter the distance, the quicker. All right. All right. Oh shit, dude. What? Okay. No, you're good. So, recording over there. Yeah. And those are just gonna be like little short clips, just showing stuff. So. We want to get it like after. Yeah. Yeah, for fact. Wait, let me. Get this. Um, and then I'm gonna swipe it. Not enough for sure. your feet bro that looks brutal <laughs> all right hold on we'll do a quick look on the camera let me get the back side oh yeah all done soon <laughs> all right here you go flip the other way yes thank you oh i want to cut that You think you had done this by yourself? Belt it? Yeah. Probably would have took me a couple days, but uh, yeah. Without uh, breaking anything? Without breaking anything? <laughs> Probably. I mean, I would just, I would just have. You got the I would have really depended on if I would have been able to like understand what the people were saying, which I probably would have. I usually can, but uh. I feel I like know, you would have had the drill. I would have heard the drill going on in there. <laughs> I don't know. If, if I was gonna drill, I would I would have took her off. I would have took the shit apart. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I think that's it. Let's do a, a once over on it. Make sure everything's loose. Everything's connected. You start yanking and pulling. Uh, <laughs> you see? <laughs> start pulling on shit. Yeah, that one felt pretty sturdy. <laughs> the only thing I'm not totally for sure about is. This little, you got a little button here for LED, and it comes down here and connect. I connected into a spot that said LED spot, so it might flip the other way, but we can change that if this LED light don't work. I think it's, I don't know what the it's point It's the colorful of, one? It's this little one here. Yep. Uh, the one next to it. I don't know what, what it's for. I've never seen that, but it has it. It might light up in there or something. I don't know. It's probably for the built-in uh, fans they already had. No. That that has a different connect a different setup. Oh, that is weird. Man. 
Oh, you know what? It might actually be because it had that that uh, controller back here for um, for the RGB. That's what it was for. But they would always be on. This would be a switch to turn them on and off instead of having a computer controller, which is what we set it up. But that's why I took it out because I realized that your computer wouldn't be able to control it. That would force it to. Yeah, it'd just be on or off. That's it. And it'd be rainbow. <laughs> Like show going on. Yeah. Permanent rainbow. All right. I think we're good. We okay. can uh, put the, put the glass on. I just want to make sure. I don't want to have to pull it apart. All right. We can start that. Yeah, we're good. That's it. All right. That's the that's the end of that chapter. Uh, glass. Yeah. Oh, God. Actually, oh, God. Oh, hey, <laughs> leave it, leave it down there for now. We're gonna turn it on and everything, and sure. and run it, and then we'll throw that on. All right. It's on the time. All right. Uh. Do you do the power cord? I got it. Okay. It's like the same fucking power cord as the Xbox. That's convenient. tabs for that, but they don't give you tabs for all the other slots. <laughs> oh, for these? Yeah. <laughs> well, they're two different things. This is your GPU, and that's your motherboard. But yeah, it is the same manufacturer. Yeah, you, you still think you wouldn't want dust in any of it. <laughs> I think. All right, we Something need especially you plug into. <laughs> Okay. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Hold on. Let me make sure. That I believe. Go! About to do it. Turn it on. It's the fan hitting me. Yeah. yeah. Could be just uh, trying to post. It, it's a uh, sensing everything. Let's fix that problem first for we Worry about that. I guess put, put the, something under yeah, for leverage. I'll put that.
Sounds better than a fucking cracked out butterfly. <laughs> Just somebody else. Oh, Set up the device manually so you can control it with smile mode. Do you want to set it up now? That's, that's something else. It's popping up on a different screen. Our tab. Oh, it's coming up over here. I might have to just directly connect this. Or. There we go. So it it's just not over here. Can't you copy this link right here? Uh, can't you copy this go. whole link? Oh. I'm showing up memory size. That's correct. CPU XP profile. Where it is advanced? There we go. Motherboard settings. I have a clock. It was already after the BIOS update. It was already enabled everything. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to make sure. It said F10 to save it, just in case.
nothing to hell. Oh, uh, do you have the HDMI plugged into the TV? Yeah. Oh, it should have been, yeah. Just working I was, I was looking at the RGB. Kind of how pretty it is. Is it rebooting or something? Yeah. It's applying all those settings. I got confused. I'm not. What? What happened? Thank you, Chris. Yep. I appreciate it. Maybe it's nice. That's what I imagine. Overclock. I'm trying to overclock. System boot default based on previous. Previous overclock settings failed system boot with default setting in place. Memory modules found on non-optimized slots. Okay. Fuck. Did we put the RAM in the wrong spot? Yeah. Yes, we did. Alright, we're sure. That's an easy fix. I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah. We don't have to do anything for that. You need to unplug it, though. Oh, did they need to go over one? Or flipped over? Oh, don't do it right now. They're not hot swap. second slot and not the first. Why would they name it two instead of one? Yeah, you think alpha one would be the alpha. <laughs> right? Yeah, that would have fucked me up. I would have, I would have totally That's why I can't lost. remember because it's so <laughs> backwards in my brain. I'm just like, no, that can't. You only count that as one mess up. We, we kind of predicted that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so it was the same. Yeah, I know it said something about the memory. Was it also saying something about the settings or the settings? I'll get it. Was just RAM. I think it's just the RAM. a better spreadsheets and shit like learning how to just use all that and like mess with the settings and stuff so <laughs> there's just so many damn settings Sneeze. I made me sneeze yesterday. Like, Probably dust in here. I guess. 
Well, it pulls in air from everywhere, but it also pulls from the attic. In the uh, yeah, yesterday. We're gonna need that product key. We're gonna need to go to Windows and get that. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. MSI Center. I will say green is my favorite manager out of all of them. Alan's, he's all right, but he's, uh, he's a little special. So is green, but I mean, I think green just gets so much on his head that he can't, I don't think he's smart enough to actually handle it all at once. Like, I think he forgets way too easy. This benchmark. Don't ever run, well, I'm, I'm gonna delete this after, but I never run on the CPU because it just makes it way too hot. scared of that monster or not if I saw it. I guess it would depend on how fast it moves. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a game? No, I think it's like a huge picture. And seeing how long it takes to render it, like it's very, there's a lot of pixels in that picture or something. And they're just trying. trying to build it with the GPU and seeing how well it does it. So it's like maybe a normal picture would be like this, and that one is like as big as this house in computer terms, maybe. So there's a lot more. You got you. Mine has a switch to turn off overclock. I don't see that on this one. What does overclock do? It just uh, uh, increases the frequency of the GPU. It might just be always on overclocked for uh, performance. Uh, there we go. So six thousand six fifty or sixty five. Let me go back to the. Okay, so mine is performing slightly better. So that's that's your number, and that's what I got. So that's not a huge difference, though. From the. And you can probably tweak that too by. Uh, Turn shit off. Well, no, by like your. Your RAM, you can overclock it and stuff, or like overclock your CPU. There's stuff you can do to increase your perform performance. Um, but that's a really good number. Uh, I'll search up how to overclock those. Especially here. since I'm running a 13900K and you're running a 12700K. So that's like generation behind and a tier below. So you, that's extremely good. 
for that. For yeah, the, no, it's only like 60, 70 below yours. Yeah, it's not, it's hardly, no, That that's really good. That's, I didn't expect it to be. Yeah, I mean, I heard the difference. It, it was not. Uh, yeah. Much so like, <laughs> look, somebody else's with a 3080 Ti, which right. is or a 3090, is scoring below that. Well, that's like the previous gen that should be performing better than yours, but it's not. Um, they don't have the hardware with it, huh? Maybe not. Um, there's not a whole lot of stuff, but yeah, like 20 series down here. Damn, a shitload of people have like. Yeah, well, I mean, these are these are much older. Like this is AMD down here, AMD Ryzen nine. <laughs> oh no, that's our CPUs. So CPUs are gonna get thrown in here too, and they're not gonna perform as good as the GPU in that test. Um, Thirty fifty. So that's a previous gen AMD. There's a 3060 laptop. But yeah, this is up here on the top. That, those are really good numbers. So nothing to fret about. You're gonna be doing great.